Hey guys, how's it going? This week I want to talk about something that's really in these days. I don't know why it's suddenly become a thing and that is double cleansing. Uh, for me personally, I have always participated in that sort of a thing. I always clean my face down with a wipe, I wash my face, and then I use toner afterwards. So I do double cleanse. But these days they've started making products specifically to clean your face before you actually cleanse. And I did want to try and see how these products worked against each other and which ones were actually beneficial and which ones just kind of seemed like an unnecessary extra step. So I chose two things. One is micellar water and this is the one from Sephora and this is triple action cleansing water. This is the Pharmacy Makeup Meltaway Cleansing Balm Green Clean and I basically used both these products in the same way and just tested to see which side was cleaner at the end. So let's take a look as to how that went. you guys can see a difference in this side of my face and this side of my face but this side has no makeup on now and this one does I guess this product we're supposed to put on a cotton ball I'm assuming all right so now the makeup is off both sides of my face so now I'm going to wash my face with my cleanser and then we're going to do a test and see which side is cleaner. As you can see I'm cleaning my face in the exact same way on both folds of my face for the exact same period of time. And let's see. Alright, so now we are ready to test. So what I'm going to do is Take two cotton balls and my toner and we're going to wipe down both sides of my face and see which side is cleaner. Let's do the pharmacy side first. So there is a little residue on this side, but not much. Alright, now let's check the micellar water side. All clean and there is a clear winner. This is my cotton ball with the pharmacy balm. As you guys can see like even in the lighting you guys can't really see much on it. However on the micellar water side there's a substantial amount of residue on this which is something that I generally expect after I wash my face I definitely expect residue which is why I toned my face afterwards but this side has very minimal residue on it and this side has about the normal amount. I definitely think the cleansing balm worked much better than the micellar water. Okay guys so as you saw for me the winner was the green clean makeup melt with cleansing balm by pharmacy. I actually feel like the day after I did that test, my skin was so radiant, so healthy looking, so glowing, very soft, very smooth. So I actually feel like both these products did a good job with that. So both sides, like my whole face overall looked like that. So they were really good in that way. But I do feel like the pharmacy product, the cleansing balm, did a much better job of getting all the makeup off because when I did run my face over with the toner at the end, the side that had the micellar water on it had as much residue on it as it would had I used toner and not done the pre-cleansing. So that's my opinion. Both these products were nice, but this didn't seem to be as effective. So I would suggest if you guys are interested in doing the double cleansing ritual, then I would try the pharmacy cleansing balm. I've had this sample size for about three months and I use it on the regular and I still have over half the product. So you only need a little bit, so it will last you a long time. 
Alright guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!